people will gather around me like it's a ghost story, like it's some tall tale. You know, legend has it that in the United States, you can't get what you need. It's been a very different experience because I haven't had to fight to live. When I first got here, I met with a doctor and I showed up to the appointment and they asked if I had insurance and I said, I have traveler's insurance. And they were immediately like very upset telling me, I'm, I'm so sorry, but you're going to have to pay for this appointment. And it only ended up being $12. I think a lot more people would try to get hair in the United States if it was something as simple as $12. With type 1, it's non-negotiable. I'm insulin dependent, and if the conditions are bad enough, if I go without insulin for 24 hours, I could be dead. I had someone tell me, well, you know, if you can afford to move abroad, you can afford insulin. It's like, well, okay, but that doesn't fix the problem. Me moving abroad shouldn't have to happen. I shouldn't have to sell all my stuff just because one of my organs doesn't work the way it should by no fault of my own. It's directly tied to big pharma. Early in the pandemic, I think it was Eli Lilly that came out and said, well, hey, so we're actually going to cap the price for insulin. And it was surprising because at least every one that was insulin dependent kind of sat back and was like, oh, you could have done this the whole time. This was available just whenever you wanted it to be. So it really does prove that the health insurance companies and the insulin manufacturers really do control those prices at the end of the day. No one should have to pay over $35 for insulin. No one should have to pay for insulin, period. Everything that they've introduced, it's mostly been, okay, but this will only impact people with insurance. And I want the United States healthcare system to be able to support those who are aging out of their parents' insurance, who are between jobs. I'm more than just my health insurance. And in the United States, unfortunately, I feel like that's what my life has been boiled down to. It's also good to know that like, I'm not alone. We're all in it together, you know, even though we're experiencing different diseases and different time zones and everything, so. Thank you.